Hi, welcome to Quick Tips with Phoebe. Yeah, and today I'm just going to be showing you how to do a virtual life mix on your digital mixer. And in my case, I'm talking about the M32 watt. What I mean by a virtual mix means you want to do a live mix without a band being present. How? How on earth can you do that? If this is your first time watching my video, or this is your first time seeing my channel or coming to my channel welcome and please hit the subscribe button hit the like turn on notification to get notified when i put up videos what are the things you need to get this started first you need to get your laptop you need to get the multi track recording and you also need a cable you also need your digital mixer if you have access to one doing this gives you access to actually remix your multi-tracks for mixing engineers who want to record as a live sound engineer do some kind of practice to get better at mixing this is a tip that you really really need after you've connected your mixer to your computer let's now say how to do the routing on the board you go to your mixer and you want to go to routing all right so on routing everything is set to local on the board which means that it is connected directly to the back of the mixer but now you want to play directly you want to play your multi-track from your mixing board play it out and be able to mix it live on your mixing board you want to come here first because normally it will be on record you want to come here and set it to play so what you want to do is to change this routing this input routing to card go and say select card one to eight go to this use the knobs here to select card 9 to 16 all through to 32 because i'm using a 32 channel board first you need to load your project your multi-track project so i open recent and i just go to my webinar virtual sound check and i load my project after you load your project, you want to come to file. So you want to come to your logic file and go to preferences, go to audio preferences and select both for your output and input device, the DN32 USB. So for some systems, if you're using a Windows, you probably have to download the driver. But for, for logic and for Mac, you don't need to download any driver. It sees this immediately. That's the beauty about using a Mac book. All right. So um, after you set your input to an output device to DN32, you come here and route your tracks. Then you do everything like that for the board and set it up that way and then you can just press play. And if you see now, you can see that I have all the things routed and it's I can now start working with my board, muting. Now I've given control to my mixer to be able to work on each of the track. So that's how you do a virtual life mix without a band. I don't even have a band here, I'm just using a multi-track recording. So that's it. And we've come to the end of this video. There you have it, how to do a live, a virtual live mix. Click the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you can get notified when I put up videos. If you want to learn more and also understand all the life sound processes, sign up for my life sound starter course. The link is in the caption below. See you some other time.